welcome back to 52 Weeks of Beauty. I'm Christy and today's video is going to be a little bit different way to do tape and hair extensions, like the flattest way possible that I can come up with. And um, I, if you didn't see my first video, it was a DIY project on how to make tape and hair extensions at home and I posted it about two months ago. So I'll link that below if you haven't seen that one. That one was a lot more detailed than this one will be. But this one is just for those of you who have seen that video who love tape and hair extensions and are maybe just looking for a way to make it just a little bit flatter, even though it's already super flat. But I mean, why not try to make it like the best it possibly can be, right? I think so. Anyway, so um, first I wanted to tell you that the type of extension that I used in the first video was clip-ins, I took the clips off, and then I just put tape on the weft. And it was machine wefted, it's double wefted extensions. Let's see if I can get a little closer. And if this is not working and you can't tell, then I'll definitely try to, you know, insert a photo here of what I mean. But anyway, this is machine wefted. It's very thick. Um, you definitely could you know, another weft onto this and then do tape on both sides like I talked about in the video and actually showed how to do that if you're looking for like extra thick. But I wanted to do a video for girls who, you know, might have very thin hair like I do naturally. And I think a lot of people who wear extensions do have thin hair. That's why they love hair extensions. A lot of girls that have thick hair want it just for length, but the ones that have thin hair where maybe you can see, you know, like you'll have hair extension, like your normal hair and then hair extensions. And you can always see that like shelf. I think this other type of extension is going to really help you. And I think, uh, I think you'll love it if you haven't already heard of it. But anyway, so when I did the tape and hair extension video, I used the double wefted hair like this with machine wefted with um, half inch size, three yards, it's half inch thickness, roll tape, and I just kind of rolled and cut and put it on both sides. Um, so that works great and it's awesome and I love it. After I did that video, I discovered the quarter inch size tape, which is two tiny rolls stuck together. I talked about it in the video. I do really like this. However, with a weft like this, it's, it's not even wide enough. That quarter inch isn't wide enough to cover the entire weft. So, I mean, it still works, but why not use, you know, that's why I think half inch for a regular machine double weft is perfect. Um, there's even a size that's a three quarter inch size, and I think that would be really great for, um, like if you're gonna double up or triple up these wefts, it's like this thick, so that would really help cover all of the wefts together. If you're looking for like, I don't know, crazy volume, then you would probably wanna go with a wider tape. Um, so anyway, for right now, I think a double wefted machine weft works great with the half inch size. And now the quarter inch, I think I want to show you that if you guys haven't heard of hand tied hair extensions, they are like, they're like my love. They really are. I, I go back and forth between the machine weft and hand tied just for the simple fact that sometimes I do want like tons of volume. And then that's when I do the machine weft because they're just thicker naturally. Um, but there's a lot of other times like in the summer when it's really hot or like if I'm working out a lot, my natural hair looks like this and it's very thin. And here's what the difference between hand tied and machine tied. Hand tied is exactly what it's, you know, called. It's literally tied by hand and therefore it cannot be double wefted. So this is so thick and this is so thin and the rest of the hair is obviously really thin too but this is like so tiny i've had a few girls write comments to me that they have tried hair extensions where they don't have a weft at all they just have like loose pieces of hair onto the tape and they still do the flat iron they still put it on their head that can work but it's a lot of hairs will fall off and you'll have a lot of shedding and almost by like in a few weeks you'll have like half your hair will be gone from your tape because those loose pieces have like nothing to really hold on to besides the tape. So if they get a little bit away from the tape, they're just they're just gonna fall. So I think you definitely need some sort of, you know, I don't know, a weft, because this is still considered a weft, it's just hand tied versus machine. But this is like the thinnest that I think exists out there. And uh, yeah, let me see what else I can tell you about it. Another really great thing about this is say you want a ton of volume and maybe you have really thin hair on top, okay? So maybe your, your hair's thicker on the bottom for some reason, but on top it's not, and you're having trouble hiding your wefts. You could definitely still do this, but put this one at the top. And 
I think that's awesome because this is so tiny thin. It's like crazy. When you put tape on it, like you're never going to see this. So um, I love this. And this is actually, I started out with tape and hair extensions with hand tied. And then I kind of moved on to this just for, like I said, a little bit more volume. But um, now it's so hot. It was like 84 degrees yesterday in Chicago, which is totally crazy because it's been freezing and today it's kind of gross again. But I was dying. I was like, oh my gosh, I have way too much hair in. Like it's great for winter and fall, but during the summer months, I need to go back to hand tied and it's just light and breezy and it's easy. So I'm going to show you that in a little bit. I'm actually I have clip-ins right now. I'm going to take these out. I'm gonna put hand tied in and I am going to use the quarter inch tape because this, like I said, is half of this is one roll. It's so tiny that it's like three of this little bitty weft. So I love that and I actually use to make this a double weft. But I wanted to show you that even with me double wefting this, like look, look how thin still versus this one that's already double wefted. See the difference? crazy difference and the top is ridiculously thin like so much thinner oh my gosh let's see okay <laughs> it's very hard I'm seriously I'm like um what am I doing can you even see what I'm doing okay so I took some pictures make it easy um but this is the three yards half inch size on the left the right is the six yards one quarter inch and you can really really see in this next picture the difference in the weft size see how tiny that is awesome i love it okay so another thing before we get started i just wanted to mention was i you know since i have miss flirty hair extensions and their clip-ins and they're the double wefted this is also miss flirty the hand tied but i just special order this for me um because you know like i said i love them i haven't you know, decided to carry them yet or anything like that just because hand tied are a little bit more expensive. I am like a new startup company, so I don't want to go crazy and be like, I'm going to carry everything, you know, so I have to kind of build my business slowly. So if it ends up being a good thing and I'm able to do that one day, hand tied is for sure on my list of things to do. Um, hand tied doesn't come in like a clip in extension form. It actually just comes in one humongous long weft which is nice for tape-ins because you can cut the sections, you know, to your, the width of your hair. Clip-ins, you're kind of, you know, limited to what comes in the pack already, which is fine because you could section them next to each other. But I think when you have the long weft, you can definitely just kind of make them any width that you want, which is nice. And as far as like what I would recommend for another brand, I would say... For now, I just want to recommend somebody else for you because I, you know, I can't help you. <laughs> but I'm just here to tell you that I'm sure there's a million companies out there that make hand-tied hair extensions. Um, eBay, Amazon, just make sure it's Remy. And I would say try to get, you know, the most grams possible because, I okay, let me give you a better description. Try to get over like 170 grams for hand-tied. And uh, I would say... 170 to two ish is probably good for one for like someone like you have hair like me um if you have thicker hair then you might be looking into more like 250 300 grams would be good for hand tied for you um anyway that's just my you know opinion on that bohemi would be the brand that i would recommend i've used them a lot in the past before i had my own company and i think they're great very high quality and i would get them from a reputable salon or um, beauty supply store because I have heard and there are things online where there have been companies that have ripped them off you know kind of like um, what's the word making a knockoff of them is that the right word making a replica yeah a copy I can't think of the word for anything but anyway there are some not real bohemi hair out there that looks like it is in the yellow package and all of that so just make sure you're getting it from someone that you trust and it's uh, it's a very high quality hair, and I really recommend them for the hand tight extensions. I think they're awesome. So I think that that's it for that right now. So I'm gonna go ahead, even though you guys saw me do my tape and hair extensions before, I just wanna go ahead and show you how thin and how it's gonna look here. I'm probably gonna speed it up really fast so you know you guys you guys already saw it before, but this is just to kind of show you the thinness and the flatness and how it all comes together. I'll be back afterwards to kind of you know, talk about it just a little bit more. And I wanted to take you into my Miss Flirty closet so we can go grab the hand-tied extensions and we'll start making them. Okay, here we go. 
Okay, so this is where I kind of keep everything for now. <laughs> it's just my little Miss Flirty world, and it says my poster, Miss Flirty Remy Hair Extensions, now sold here. Let your hair drive them crazy, not you. Um, so this is just kind of where I keep everything, and one day if I ever have a big, you know, place, like a, I'd love to have a salon or store. I mean, how amazing would that be? But everyone's got to start somewhere, right? So, okay. So this is kind of, you know, where I package up everything. This is one day. You have no idea how much is in that bag down there on the front, on the bottom shelf. That is all my years of hair extensions, my troubles, my woes, the companies I love and I don't love. <laughs> And all of my, like, I don't know, just basically, like, I'd say that's my hair extension training course in that bag. Like, everything I know, I owe it to everything in that bag. And, um, yeah. So, one day I'm going to take it out and show you guys everything because it's just insane. And I just saved it because I knew one day I kind of wanted to show everybody, like, this is what it took to get me to where I am and to know the things I know. So, that's a lot of money in there that I spent on numerous brands and products that I, yeah. Anyway, you get the point. Okay. So it kind of is real, real, real big and it goes way, 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 way back. So, um, for now, I'm just going to pick up my hand tie, which I know is right here. And I'm going to go put tape on now. And, uh, yeah, we're going to try the quarter inch with the hand tie and see how flat it is. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and unpackage the hand tied hair extensions. This is about a 170 gram set, and it's like I said, one big long piece, and I'm just cutting the little tie off of it so I can unroll it. And this is not uh, double wefted, so it's just one long single wefted. They're very thin, um, the actual weft. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna measure different sections for my head and kind of hold it up and I'm going to cut two pieces of every section. So, um, because I do want to, you know, put tape in the middle of each weft, I guess, um, and add, you know, the other side to it because I want them just a little bit thicker than it comes. So when I measured these afterwards, um, the bottom piece was seven inches long. It goes in between my ears, kind of towards the top of my ears. And then I have two that are 10 inches wide that are going, one's like the middle of my head, one's a little bit further up at the top of my head. And that's what I'm gonna start with now. Um, I This hair actually is awesome, but after you know wash it and dry it, it does get a little bit more, whatever, thicker, I guess you could say. And um, so I just, sometimes I don't like to put it all in the first time because I wanna see how it kind of lays with my hair. And if I wanna add an extra weft in, I always can do that in between the other wefts later. So I might not even end up using the entire package of 170 gram hair, but you know, it just depends on, you know, what your thickness is. So that's why I just recommended grabbing something about that weight, um, just in case you do end up wanting more. And if you don't use it all, you could always use it next time. Okay, and here we are with the quarter inch tape. Um, that's, you know, two rolls right next to each other. So you'll see at some point I pull one part of it out and the other roll wants to come open too, but you just have to kind of go slow and um, just keep one roll going at a time. But what I'm doing is I am actually because this tape is so tiny, you don't want to get your fingers on it at all. So it's a little different than the half inch because there's more, you know, tape. It's a little bit easier to work with when you touch it. See how two pieces just came open? Yep, still is right there. <laughs> you just kind of kind of have to push that little roll back and separate it. There we go. Okay, so I am going a little bit further out, probably a half inch to three quarters inch extra after the weft with the tape. And I'm doing that on you know, both sides length and the other side too, because that's what I'm gonna be like using to touch it and hold it and everything after I take the white backing off. So I'm gonna go ahead and double tape both sides for now. So this is just one weft, you know, one piece. And remember I cut two of each width, so I can go ahead and double them up, which I will in a second here. For the other wefts, I just put tape on one side, and you'll see why um, I did that in just a little bit. Okay, so after you have taped both sides of the first um, piece of hand tied extension that you're using, you're going to go ahead and take your flat iron that's heated to 400 to 450. You're going to clamp, clamp all the way down the weft. Watch your fingers. Um, make sure you don't slide the flat iron. 
and make sure you do it like you know one to two seconds hold on each clamp this is sped up just a little bit so keep that in mind then you're going to peel off the tape on just one side and this is the part where you are going to lay the other weft on it so i've already added tape to the one side but i'm going to go ahead and lay the part that didn't have tape on the little tape that i just peeled off and i'm going to use my flat iron i'm going to seal that with the same process and I'm gonna go ahead and do that with all the pieces. Okay, and then during this process is when you're gonna realize like how nice having those tabs on the side is or those extra little pieces to hold on to. You can really align the wefts up nicely together and you're not touching anything. Even with that sticky part, I was just touching the sticky part on the outside. So uh, yeah, you can kind of see right there like them hanging off the edge um, in the mirror. But you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna flat iron them together so now these are officially like double wefted tape in hand tied extensions and i'm going to do that with all the other pieces i won't show you that part but uh, let's go ahead and move on to me installing them okay so i'm taking out my clip in extensions putting them in the case that i made a few weeks ago and p.s nobody has entered yet i know it's not over till june 17th and it's for a you know set of clip in hair extensions but if you're thinking about entering you definitely should because you probably won't have that much competition i'm just saying okay anyway so now i'm going to go ahead and you know this is very similar to what you've already seen before in my last tape and extension video so i'm really fast forwarding this super fast but i'm just putting in three rows um seven inches on the bottom ten in the middle ten above that I'm measuring, I'm making sure it's a clean line. You want to put the tape in part as much on your scalp as possible with like, you know, a little bit, I guess. I guess just mostly on your scalp would be the best way to say it. If you're putting it on your hair, it's not really going to adhere to anything. Okay, so on some of this, um, you'll be able to see that um, after you take the tape off both sides, you're going to go ahead and cut off that little piece of, you know, the clear tape that's still hanging on both sides, like the tabs that we use the whole time to hold it. And then you're still going to try to hold the weft underneath the tape, which is very easy to do because this is very light, this hand tied weft and the tape it's all really light so you'll be able to hold it without you know touching the tape and that's the best that you best thing you can do because like i said once you touch this tape it doesn't this particular size it just kind of loses a lot of its stickiness so you want to save all that for your hair and putting it in and everything okay so i slowed this part down and zoomed in just a little bit so when you have i just want to show you the little tabs that you'll be cutting off so you peel off both sides and then see that little extra, it's hard to see because it's clear tape, but anyway, there's two little pieces on the side. So you do that and I'm holding the weft from underneath. Okay, and so this is the very last weft that I'll be putting in towards the top. And I'm gonna put that in and I just push over the top throughout the process too, like push and you know, just try to secure the tape in there. Hold your hair when you brush it always, just keeps your tape and extensions in longer. So um, anyway, now uh, it just feels so nice and light and flat. I'm flat ironing it just to kind of make it, you know, lay flatter and it will all blend a lot better after I wash and dry it, but at first, you know. And I just like how natural it looks, like even the ends are a little bit thinner. It looks like what my natural hair would look like if it actually were long. Okay, so I'm back. I hope you enjoyed watching that video. I wanted to mention one more thing really quick, and I know this video is getting really long, so I'm going to try and go before it hits like 20 minute mark. Um, but let's say that maybe you have some leftover hand tied extensions and you want to make a few clip in pieces because this is thinner and if you know, you want to maybe have a little bit more volume and you want to add some clip-ins, you put plenty of room in between the rows that you could throw in a few clip-in extensions too. Or maybe after you're done wearing tape in and you just want to break and you want to have some clip-ins, but you want to try the thinner version, you can just take two of the hand-tied wefts and use some white hair bonding glue. I got this from Sally's. You can get this from like a beauty supply store. There's a lot of different brands as long as, as, long as it's white um, because it'll dry clear then. And I guess maybe if you have dark hair, you might want the brown or black one. Maybe. Right? Probably. So you would just glue the two together, let it dry till it's clear or <laughs> invisible or whatever you want to say. And then you would just take and sew on your clips. And I'm sure there's videos out there on how to add clips to weft extensions. But um, it's pretty simple to do, and I'm not a sewer. You guys know that. But just to give you an idea, look for tiny clips, and I guess you could find these on eBay or Amazon or even a beauty supply store. But look how small they are compared to the normal clip and extension size. So if you have extremely fine hair, this actually might work really well for you. So you would just put these clips, 
maybe do two or three, so one on each end and then one in the middle. Um, that would probably help. So I just wanted to pass that tip on to you and I think it's fun and it's, uh, it's great to have like a lighter version. Even if you don't have very fine hair, maybe you just want a lighter version for the summer or when you're working out or I don't know, whenever it's just really hot out in general. Okay, so I think that's everything for this video. I hope you guys are having a great week. I'll see you again next week. Bye.